Some other issues that we ran into, uh, just some kind of road bumps, uh, were uh, when we went to submit dossiers. As an industry, we see that uh, the skip database and portal downtimes that happened during the first critical two months impacted companies' initial attempts because they queued up thousands of submissions, and then they all started failing because the database kept crashing. So that was a little bit of a struggle that we were able to work through as an industry. Uh, and good job to the European Chemicals Agency for being able to quickly uh, resolve those issues for us. The other issue we saw was that because of the amount of submissions being made, um, the S2S system, the system to system where computer systems can submit to the database, those submissions were being delayed because the database got so overrun with submissions that it, instead of responding back with a response, yes, I received your submission and a past validation, it would sit at pending status for hours and hours and hours because there was just a backlog of submissions. And so um, as a result, there were timeouts. And so some of uh, uh, the part, third party suppliers like GreenSoft, we had to adjust our data communications methods to support these unexpected performance delays. So that was another bump we hit. Um, there were some issues with large dossiers, dossiers with a lot of articles in them were, were crashing the system. And the European Chemicals Agency had to actually set a limit on the number of components you can have in a dossier to 1,000. So you can only have 1,000 elements in a dossier or less. Um, otherwise, the database will not accept it. It would reject it because it can't handle the big ones. And so that was a, a painful lesson for European Chemicals Agency to learn because all those big dossiers were floating in the database for a while. And so we also have seen the ECHA report inconsistent notifications, a varying article and classification codes applied, some using generic article uh, codes and classification codes instead of providing the detailed ones for the products. And so they are viewing that. So we want to make sure that we're uh, paying attention to consistency here, right? And then another problem that the uh, industry has struggled with is these dossier submissions. Understanding how to combine multiple products in the one dossier. There's basically two uh, approaches that have been reviewed by the European Chemicals Agency. One is a quasi-identical complex object, and one is a representative article approach. And these um, approaches need to be understood very well. Companies are just throwing product families into a dossier and submitting them, even though they don't have anywhere near the same SVHC profiles, and they're not really meeting the obligations of the database. Or they're using the representative article sample approach without understanding the risks associated with that, as the member states have not uh, provided any input onto whether or not they would accept that. And the European Chemicals Agency has advised against using it. So um, we need to make sure that if we're going to combine products together in one dossier, we understand the methodologies that have been reviewed and the risks about which methodology we're using. Now, when it comes to submitting dossiers, as we've mentioned many times in here, make sure you review your dossier for article category consistency and material category uh, and mixture category consistency so that you're not submitting data that's suspect because you're reporting different data for the same parts. Right. Um, and keep in mind the skip database is not at mission critical status. Expect it to be unavailable occasionally. They have planned downtimes for maintenance. Um, and also it sometimes just goes down and there are not kind of redundant systems in place. So don't have a process where you think you're going to be able to do a submission and obtain a uh, submission report right away. It might be a time when you have to wait an hour or two to get a submission report back, or maybe the database won't even accept the submission at all because it's down. So just know that, put that into your process that there could be delays, that responses aren't already immediate, okay? Dossier submissions, what have we learned here? We've learned that we need to define a process for combining products into one skip submission, either quasi-identical or representative sample, but we need to consider the risks of which one we're gonna do and if we choose representative sample, especially that's the case, because that has been specifically noted as European Chemicals Agency in their view as not sufficient, although some companies are doing it anyway because they don't have a choice, they don't have an alternate. And so far, member state uh, authorities have not come back with their input. So there's a risk involved with that, but you may need to use it. What you don't do is just come up with your own process that's neither one of these, because that has not been reviewed by anybody, including the European Chemicals Agency, and it won't be in conformance with the requirements of the SCIP portal. So, and I've seen people doing that. Well, you know, let's put the light pulse series into one, or let's put this series of products. That's a marketing series. Those products aren't even the same. Don't put them in the same dossier. How are you gonna do that and list the articles correctly? How's an end of life processor gonna use that information? Keep that in mind, right? So we need to do that. Submit the dossier as soon as the SVEC is known present, okay? 
and then update it when additional data is obtained. Don't neglect report your reporting obligations simply because your suppliers are not responding quickly enough, that they're not giving you all the data you need. You have one supplier not supporting, so you're not going to load up the data on the other seven suppliers you have? No, that's not right. The correct way to do this is load up the first article as soon as you know it's there, and if you find another article, then you add that and load it in again. They want your date. This is a living document that you keep updated. This isn't a one-time submission. Learn more by viewing the full-length video online at greensofttech.com slash videos. Plus, learn about our environmental regulation solutions online at greensofttech.com.